Well, new at five, these people are just a few of the 120 residents at a Huron apartment complex who are now homeless. Their homes were suddenly condemned by the city because of storm damage. Michael Sandlin takes us to Sandpiper Cove, where people are scrambling to figure out what to do. How many people know where they're going to end up sleeping tonight? Show of hands. Tonight. Tonight. Well, tonight, yeah. Tonight, yeah. Tonight, yeah. tonight. How many people know where they're going to be sleeping in the next 30 days? Show of hands. No one. No one knows where they're going to end up. They'll never be able to go back to their homes again. But until yesterday, they thought it would only be a matter of months. Last week, heavy rainfall saw their sewer lines back up, ruining carpets and filling the apartments with a bad smell. Apartment owner Monarch Investments asked the residents to leave, put them up in a hotel, and promised to keep them there until at least Tuesday while they figured out what to do. However, come Monday, all of the residents received an email informing them that the city ruled their apartments be condemned and they had until the 5th to pick up their things before they couldn't get them again, all before their final day at the hotel, effectively leaving them homeless. So what happens now? I don't know. Now I have to find a place now. Where are you sleeping tonight? My cousin paid for one more night at the hotel. We pick up our deposit check tomorrow. I have to go from there. I reached out to Monarch Investments to get their side of the story, and the person on the other end of the line said that they were all set and hung up the phone. Reporting in here on I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11. Toledoans are learning more about what kind of health 